Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. So this is my last reserve block last week, however you want to consider it, of being a Chicago based flight attendant. Uh, all that complaining I did and it went by so fast and I feel like I could spend one more month here. <laughs> That's why guys like and girls, ladies and gents, um, I probably was not the best example during my training period. But you really do have to be open-minded to going to whatever base they send you to. Because you just never know. You might end up really liking it. And that's what everybody told me while we were in training. They're like, you're probably going to actually really end up liking Chicago. And da 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 um, And it's not so much the airline portion of why I like Chicago. Because... I mean, whatever, we fly, we go here, we go there, like that's all the same, but I genuinely like the city, like I really have enjoyed it, the little bit that I've seen so far, uh, um, but my goal was to always be based in Texas, and uh, we're going to keep moving forward with that, so I started, today is, dang, today's Wednesday the 18th, um, I started a five day block today so I'm good until Sunday the 22nd and then after that I am done for the month I'm off until at least September 30th after that for so yeah a good week um but yeah so today I am on 4 a.m. wrap reserve availability period so 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, clearly at 7.48 they haven't called me yet, but we still got a good 11 hours to go, so you never know. Um, yeah, I looked in open time and I don't really see any trips that are open for today. Um, but they could always call me in for airport standby or something could go haywire. There's a lot of weather going on in Texas right now. Um... So that could potentially have some shifts in the atmosphere going on with these flights. You just really never know. Um, but yeah, I'm just chilling. Yesterday I went to the zoo. I didn't vlog it. I did um, put. I did do Instagram stories of it though. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. It's Alexia Nicole dot life. Um, and yeah, you can get a little inside of what I do on my off days or you know if you just kind of want to keep up with me more on a daily basis go to Instagram and then you have all that access um but yeah that's really it y'all I'm just gonna kind of chill out here at my cousin's place um I've been kind of searching for crash pads in Dallas I think that it'll probably be the safest and best option for me. Um, and I was looking, I bid for my October schedule two days ago. And I might go back and kind of change that bid. Because what I'm thinking is how I want my schedule to be when I get to Dallas. Because I definitely want to have my car out there with me um, to get to and from you know the airport and whatever like just cut out all those uber lift fees um i don't think dallas has great public transportation texas period just doesn't have great public transportation like it is just not like a transit city like that it's not a commuter style city like you drive in texas so what i was thinking was doing my schedule basically how I do it now like just keep my six day blocks one day off six day block one day off six day block and then the rest of the month off and then have my car and just drive back home at the end of you know my three six day blocks um, and then just drive back home and stay home for about a week or two or three who however I can get it to work and then just repeat the cycle um, so yeah, we'll see how that ends up working out. Um, it'll probably just take me a couple of months just to really figure out how, you know, I would prefer my schedule to be and 
when I need to be somewhere and it kind of almost makes me wish I had two cars but your girl can't afford two cars right now <laughs> like I wish I had one that could just sit in Houston and then one that could just sit in Dallas because when I do go home clearly I need my car to um, handle whatever real estate business I have going on you know that's a lot of driving um, but yeah those are just my thoughts of you know what am I going to do when I get to DFW and all of that um but yeah y'all I will check in a little bit later if um screw I mean crew scheduling <laughs> tries to give me a call and we'll see what happens okay all right y'all I'm taking my chances and I'm gonna walk half a mile to Sephora and back I really could take the bus but I have not been nearly as active as I need to be so walking is good for me um but I'm out of face lotion so my face moisturizer actually really sad. so there's a Sephora literally right down the road that I haven't been to because I've been trying to stay away but now I have a reason to go so they haven't called yet I checked the reserve list and um well I checked maybe what like an hour hour and a half ago and there were still like four people ahead of me and only one person from what I could tell has been called today which is Brittany <laughs> she takes me she's like they use me she was on 4 a.m. rap too but she was the first one listed for um for rap for today so yeah I'm gonna make this quick just in case because you know me my luck as soon as I walk out as soon as I walk into Sephora they gonna be ring -a, a ling in my phone so let's make this okay fast. guys so I was in and out of Sephora didn't get any phone calls double check correct um, but I did see an Apple store on my way up here oh uh, see and I just got samples I decided not to buy anything because I like to try new moisturizers so I was like, this is a good time for me to get a few samples of some different ones. Of course, Sephora, technically, they're only supposed to give me three samples. So she only gave me three. They don't know me at this Sephora. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to try some of these, and then when I get back home, you know, I just kind of like to shop at the same store where the people know you. Um, I'll pick one of these to buy, like, a full bottle of. But right now, I'm going to cross the street and go check out the Apple store and is, am I supposed to be walking? This little hand sign is up but I don't see nobody else that can be walking so I'm walking. Um, don't get me for jaywalking please y'all. Um, well is that technically jaywalking? I've heard jaywalking is like when you cross the street like diagonally. I don't know. You know, we don't walk in Texas. So I'm not really up on that. Um, anyways, heading to the Apple store now just to kind of see if they have the new iPhone 11 models in there so I can get my hands on it, touch it, and feel it. See what I ordered since mine is sitting at home and he's just waiting for me to get there. But yeah. I really love Lincoln Park area. If I was to stay in Chicago, I would move right here. It's nice. Well, guys, I went into Apple, and they don't have it on display yet. I was informed that they don't put items on display until launch day, so that's cute. But I did get some information on a new MacBook. I've had my laptop. I have a Dell. I'm going to buy that. I got my real estate license, I guess, three years ago. Um, and she is on the fritz, y'all. <laughs> my battery, my charger broke. My battery is bad. I cracked the screen. So, I'm like, do I want to pay to get that fixed or should I just go ahead and upgrade my life to a MacBook? So, I went in there, just kind of talked to the guy about which one I should get and blah 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 so that was good information learned so I guess I'll just have to wait until I get home to see what my phone look like and feel like anyways I'm back at the apartment I still haven't got a phone call so I'm good with that too y'all 
how quickly I forget. So I'm like, I'm in Chicago. You know, I need to, I haven't really dined out much since I've been here. Y'all know I like to eat out, but I really haven't been. Um, but I was like, well, I want some pizza. Let me get me a Chicago style pizza. Oh my God. This thing is uh, huge. Look at this. Look at how deep, thick, whatever I got. Half cheese, half pepperoni. There's a pepperoni. Whoa. It's stuffed, I guess. I don't know. I ordered it from... Why is it so big? <laughs> it's a small stuffed cheese pizza. Can y'all see that? Yeah, small stuffed cheese pizza. Half pepperoni. <laughs> so anyways, as I was on the phone with the guy ordering, I was like, wait a minute, Alexia. You can't have pizza with cheese? But I was like, well, too late now. I ordered. I already gave the man my card number. <laughs> we'll start over tomorrow with this dairy-free life. <laughs> Go eat this pizza. I hope it's good, y'all. I hate to be disappointed in food. Let's see. So this thing is so... This pizza is so big. It's not like... Not like inches, you know, wide or whatever. It's just... It's thick and it's deep. I feel like I could eat on this pizza until like two or three days from now. Mm. And it's 354, still no call from crew scheduling, so we got three more hours. All right, y'all. Well, is it seven o'clock yet? 1859, so basically seven o'clock. Means another day of reserve gone by. And I didn't go anywhere. Big Brother. Um, no, I don't want to watch Basketball Wives. I want to watch Big Brother. Y'all watch Big Brother? I have been a huge Big Brother fan since, I want to say, season two or three or four. Whenever Janelle, was that her name, was on there? Tall, beautiful, white girl. Oh, sh sh loved her. That's when I started watching Big Brother, and I've never missed a season since. So, anyways, y'all, I, um, yeah, I just looked at my, um, wrap for tomorrow. I got the same wrap, 4 a.m. to 7 p.m., and, um, I bid for 16 trips. I pref bid for 16 trips that I could have possibly worked for tomorrow, and I didn't get not one of them. I got wrap again. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I mean, it's like I I want to work. I enjoy working. Those of you all that have been watching my vlog since the jump, y'all know I like working. But reserve itself, it's a struggle for me because I like having a line. You know, I like knowing the day before what I'm going to be doing, where I'm going, and things like that. I'm on reserve like tomorrow and today and I just have to wait and sit and see if they call me and if they do call me it's like a twinge of annoyance that I get because <laughs> it's like I'm just not mentally prepared you know I should be because clearly that's my, that's the job I'm sitting here just waiting for a phone call but I'm still like comfortable laying in the bed you know drinking my water eating my overstuffed pizza enjoying my best life and then ring 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 they're gonna call and be like oh you're going blah blah but I'm not like uh so anyways that's why I prefer to press bid and hopefully they assign me a trip the day prior the night before so I know and I already have it in my mind that I need to get up tomorrow at this time and, and go to work um but that's just not happening for me <laughs> this week yet so We'll just hold on to the luck and see what happens. Anyways, Big Brother's on. I'm gonna watch. Talk to y'all tomorrow. <sighs> good morning, good people. Guess what happened? Screw, I mean, 
<laughs> crew scheduling called me this morning at 4.53 a.m. It's now 5.34, I'm just out of the shower. Just did my face stuff, got my golden eye mask things going on so I can get a little mini facelift going. I might have a report of 8.04 a.m. So normally they give you a two hour call out. They were nice this morning and gave me about three and a half hours, which I do appreciate, especially with it being so early. And I'm not one of those people that wake up for their reserve shift. So reserve started at four. I'm not waking up at four o'clock just to wait for a phone call. So I was definitely still sleeping when they called. Um, but it's all good. It's just a turn, I think to Charleston and back. Um, we'll see if I get extended, which is what I would prefer because I'm, I'm really not a fan of just doing turns when you don't live in base. You know, I would rather just have overnights and be gone until my days are over. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm just getting ready now. I will check back in with y'all once I get to the airport, okay? Right. Oh, good morning. I am in the crew lounge. Early, like, got here like 40 minutes early. That means I could have slept 40 more minutes, but whatever. Um, I am in here picking up some of our new credit card apps to pass out on the plane. And yeah, we pass these out, and if people apply and get approved, we get money for that. So it's just an incentive. You know, it's not something that's mandatory that we have to do, but. There's quite a few people that do it and make a lot of extra money doing it. So we had it at JetBlue too, and I really didn't do it that often. I did every now and then. I probably made a couple hundred bucks off of it. Um, but seeing as I make quite a bit less penny here, it would be nice to be able to make up that money somewhere else. So I'm going to try to incorporate that into my duties on the plane. Just try to fit it into some part of the phase of flight. Um, but yeah, I need to be at the gate in like 24 minutes. So I'm just gonna go stroll on down there and just be there early. We got pretty much a full flight, 68 out of 76 total. Zero non revs as of now. I'm working the main cabin when he called this morning. He was like, You wanna be one or two? Like, I'll take two. I was one the last time I flew, and I think the last couple of times I flew, which I don't mind it, but just nice to switch it up. Um, so yeah, put my gospel back in my ears. I was on the train, y'all. Gospel music really began me. I started crying like a little baby, just you know, the word of God, singing his praises. Anyways, y'all have a blessed day. See y'all. So, let me tell y'all what the worst thing is when you land get all these text messages about your friends being flooded out in Houston, Texas. You can't get their kids. So yeah, y'all, it just makes my nerves really bad. When Harvey happened, that was right when I started with JetBlue, and I was at home just, or where was I, at my uncle's house, just watching the news and devastation of my city being flooded. And hopefully, by God, I hope this time it's not that bad, but it's just, it just pisses me off. It really, really does. It really, really does. I'm not saying like I want to be there to, to watch the flood in heaven, but I would rather be at home with my family. And, you know, just, I don't, I just don't like flying while devastation is happening in my city. I just don't like it. I don't really know how to explain it, the feeling that I have, but I really don't like it. You know, all of my family is fine, thankfully, but I got friends that can't even get to their kids. Like, Houston really has to get this together. Like, it's a hot mess. It's just a hot mess. Yesterday, they shut down schools in the city and stuff. Stupid music. You know, having people not go out, and it wasn't bad yesterday. Now today, it's, it's actually really bad, and people, you know, went back to living their lives. So now they're stuck, and people's cars are getting, you know, um, stalled in the water and you know 
there's probably gonna be houses that get flooded and it's just a miserable feeling, honestly. Anyways, we're in Charleston. We just um, deplaned and we're about to board up and head back to Chicago here in a second, y'all. So. Hey guys, this update I'm done with the turn. They didn't give me any other segments or flights to work, so they released me and I used a commuter hotel. So I'm at the hotel right now. I'm just kind of watching the news and um, the weather reports of what's going on in my city. It's a little unfortunate. Not a little bit, a lot. I just hope that it stops raining <laughs> so it has time for the water to subside and go away. Because what happens in Houston is with these storms, it just rains and 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 it never stops. So that's why the city floods. It's not like it just rains for like five minutes and the city is flooded. It just rains for like a day or two or three. That's what happened with Harvey. It rained for like days in a row. So, but my family is safe. My friends are okay. They flooded in, stuck in places. Actually, my aunt is stuck at work because everywhere around her is flooded out. So she's stuck at work. So she might be sleeping there tonight. But yeah, y'all. Yeah. Just that's it. That's all. Good morning, good people. Oh yeah, it's still 10:58. Talking to the vlog. You want to say hi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is who I flew with yesterday. Now we're friends. Um, she was in the training class after me. Um, so we did the turn to wherever we went yesterday, Charleston. And then we got a commuter hotel together. Her sister's back behind us. She came and had a little, had a little sleepover with us last night. She was stuck in Chicago trying to get to Houston yesterday. But as y'all know, the the storm El Elmita, whatever her name is, just closed down the, the airports in Houston yesterday. So now we are, we're gonna go right. Now we are walking to IHOP to get a little breakfast. Brandy and, and myself, we both are, um, oh no, right. Oh, the little thing, oh, do those work? Oh, <laughs> um, we're both on 4 a.m wrap four to seven i'm number two the last time i checked she's number three but there's nothing at open time so we're gonna go eat and um i'm so good for today saturday and sunday how many days are you good for uh, three sunday seven. so yeah so maybe we'll get a trip together again who knows all right hey guys so we have made our way to Fashion Outlet Mall in Rosemont. Look at these cute shoes that I just bought. Found. Aren't these cute? Like a wedding shoe, they're silver and sparkly. They look white here. Alright y'all, so we hung out all day till I was tired of hanging out and it was like around 4 something we were still at the mall just kind of shopping looking around and I was like you know what let me just call cruise services and see if they'll release me so I can go on about my business and they did so um we decided to just get use another hotel because I had four hotels and I don't know I don't I don't, you know, we can't, they don't carry over to the next month. The hotels that are provided by the company, we get four months. I mean, we either use them or lose them. So I was like, you know what? I've been enjoying hanging out with Brandy. She's really sweet. Uh, so, and she doesn't have a crash pad and she only had one hotel left. So I was like, you know what? We can use another one of my hotels because I still have three left. Well, now I have one left. Um, so yeah. We're at a different hotel. It's nice. Fine Let me show y'all. Or the TV. But so we got a little sitting area. 
then it's a little kitchenette area, microwave, and refrigerator. <laughs> yes. Um, then you go down this little corner. This is the bathroom. That's me. And then the two double beds over here. And we have a corner room. So we have this wonderful long mirror. The view's not that great. It's really glary. I'll show tomorrow. But yeah, it's windows all around, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, that's all she wrote for the night. Randy and I both got 7 p.m. to midnight reserved tomorrow, so more than likely I'll just end up going back to my cousin's house tomorrow night. Because um, the crazy thing is, well, I guess it's not that crazy. I don't really feel like going into that. So yeah, Randy and I both got 7 p.m. to midnight reserve tomorrow night. So basically we're off all day. So we're going to go catch a matinee movie tomorrow, watch Hustlers with J-Lo and all the girls. Um, and then after that, I'll probably just go back to my cousin's house. Yeah. But Randy is turning her apartment in Dallas. She lives in Dallas. She's Chicago based for now, but we're both getting transferred back to Dallas starting October. So she's turning her apartment into um, a crash pad. So it's a two bedroom apartment. So she's just gonna put some bunk beds in there. It's only gonna be like five of us girls and it's gonna be great. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. So spending time with her, I like her enough. And you know, crash pad is crash pad. So I like really minimal, small amount of people. You know, these 16, 20 people crash pad just team too much for Alexia. So, you know, she's a godsend. We met, it's been a blessing, it's been great. Anyways, talk to y'all Hi guys. So I finally made it back to my cousin's house. It's 12.48. Um, I'm on reserve today from seven to midnight, 7 p.m. to midnight. And then tomorrow is my last reserve day of being a Chicago-based flight attendant. So I needed to come back to my cousin's house and get all my belongings packed up. And just in case, they do give me a trip tonight, which I highly doubt. I'm all packed and ready. Um, so yeah, because tomorrow, I bid for a turn to work tomorrow. I mean, there's only five turns in open time for tomorrow. So more than likely, I probably won't get anything. Um, and I don't know what time one two three four five yeah five turns in open time for tomorrow um and i'll probably get 10 a.m to midnight reserve availability period tomorrow wrap um so the good thing would be to really get assigned a turn tomorrow and then once i get back i could get released and then just commute back home to Houston. If not, I'll probably call around midday to get released. Or just kind of like before 7 because I've listed myself on a 8 p.m. commute back to Houston tomorrow night. So, we'll see. Yeah. So, I'll update y'all later. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, y'all. So, it is 6.35. And I checked my schedule for tomorrow and I got a turn. So, clearly I still have my reserve period for tonight. That starts in 25 minutes. More than likely won't get used. Um, but my turn tomorrow is to MSN airport. I don't know, I still haven't learned airport codes. So wherever that is, so 10, and then I get back to Chicago at 12.30. So it's just a quick little turn. Um, so I have listed myself on a flight earlier. There's a United flight like at 2. Then there's an American flight at like 3. So, you know, just list myself, you know, world aviation delays happen. So what I'm about to do now is pack all my stuff up that I have at my cousin's house because after tomorrow I'm not coming back. Well, not to like stay and sit reserved. So I need to take all my belongings with me. 
on my trip tomorrow so I can hop on a flight and commute back home to Houston. Excited! Good morning, guys. <laughs> so it is officially my last trip out of Chicago. I am looking for my scarf because I know. Oh, there it is. Um, I'm gonna put it somewhere. All right, on the way to the airport. We'll see y'all when I get there. I'm on board the CIJ, my least favorite aircraft of them all. But it's the last time I'll ever have to fly this plane because it's only in Chicago. And like y'all know, this is my last being a Chicago-based flight attendant. Hallelujah. I think I'm flying with a subscriber. That's when I introduced myself. She was like, oh, you're the YouTube girl. And I was like, no, I'm Alexia. But <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. Um, yeah, I really hate this flight, y'all. Anyways, we should be boarding here in a second. And it's a very quick flight. Flight time is like 26 minutes. Um, that it's going to be turbulent, so we're just gonna sit down the whole time. But it's not, uh, ooh, my eyebrows. Okay, go. Hey, <laughs> we just did headed on Miss Alexia's flight, and she's awesome. <laughs> and I'm done with Chicago. What, what? Wait, remember your name again? Kristen. Kristen? Kristen. 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 Kristen Nicole. She just called and got me released. She's the best. All right, bye, Jen. Bye. bye Kristen, y'all have a good one. We're done. Good morning, y'all. I totally forgot to close out the vlog yesterday. I was just so excited to be home and after delay and all of that stuff. Come on, Dan, out. Come on, Spinny. Out. Um, yeah, so I'm back home in Houston. Oh, look at that fog. No, 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 stay babies. I'll be back. Be good. I'll chase a squirrel or something, okay? Back home in Houston, I got my new iPhone, but I have my old case on there because I still haven't ordered. See, there's the three three cameras. This is the iPhone 11 Pro, but I just stuck my old case on here because I didn't order a new one yet. Um, and you know, I just want to keep her nice and pretty and protected. She's gold. New phone, she's gold. I like her. It has some really cute little new features and settings going on on the iPhone that's pretty dope I have six text messages must be one of those do not disturb groups <laughs> do y'all put y'all friends like you have group chats that you know sometimes you go days even weeks without texting and then some days it's just like boom 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 some of those I keep on do not disturb just because I hate hearing the the notification over and over and over again. Oh man, I have to start out new phone. Gotta do the Apple CarPlay. Allow. Oh, and my Apple CarPlay even looks different. What? I wonder if I'm going to have the same issues that I was ha Oh, Libby is on here. Um, for any of my book readers, or if you enjoy reading books, I should say, um, Libby is a really good app to download. So you just get, you know, your library card from your city. And then, which is, I believe library cards are free. Mine was free in Houston. And then you just download the Libby app and put in your library card information and then you have access to all kind of books okay audible books and ones that you just actually read so my sister put me on that a little while back and I have been I've really got into audible and listening to audible versions of books and I love it so so that's good yeah, just the setup of my Apple, my CarPlay has changed. That's very interesting. Um, anyways, it's 7.46 in the morning and I gotta go get some work done. So, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Um, deuces to Chicago. I am now a DFW flight attendant, okay? I am so excited about that. Now I just need to figure out where I'm going to be staying because I still haven't locked down a crash pad. 
So that'll be in the next vlog, hopefully. All right, make sure that you all subscribe, like, and share. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the Alexia Nicole family. I hope you're living your life by design. Until next time, bye.